just bless whoever is watching right now that you receive what the Holy Spirit has put in my heart and just release a prayer over you right now. We're out here in Arizona. We experienced a, a phenomenal conference out here. Some great speakers. We had David Herzog, Lou Engel, Daniel Kalinda. And we picked up so much and just the glory of God just coming down and just touching us all in the room. Even the people way in the back experienced it, the fire of the Holy Spirit. It was so much peace and glory and joy. People was laughing, the whole room was laughing and celebrating. I've never seen anything like that before. We came out here because we were hungry, hungry for what God has for us. And we're not, we're not, we're not content. We're not content at all. So we came out here to Arizona. And I just want to impart whatever I receive from all these great generals of God. I want to impart peace on you right now, love and courage, and that you'll continue to stay hungry. You'll continue to feel the presence of Jesus Christ in prayer and fasting and love, loving people, and just receiving the Father's love. So I just release a love, a fresh baptism of love over you right now. And I just break off anything that's hindering you. Every bit of stress I break off right now. Every bit of depression I break off right now. Every bit of the anxiety that you might be feeling I break off right now. And any healing that you might have. This is supernatural, I'm speaking on the camera, but I release healing over you right now in Jesus Christ's name. The Holy Spirit is touching you right now. Everything is about faith when you're a Christian. Everything is about faith. You have angels assigned to you. It says it in Matthew, angels are assigned to you. You don't have anything to be worried about or scared about. As it says in the Bible, God will take care of every need that you have. Every need that you have. You don't need to stress out about anything. Listen to the word of God. That's the truth that we stand on. When I pray for people and sometimes they don't get healed, I feel a little bit discouraged sometimes. But I continue to understand that the word of God is true. And when I pray for people, and I pray for people and something doesn't happen, I continue to pray for people and they get healed. But I stick to the word of God. What it says is that you lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So that's what I believe in every time I pray for somebody. And I, casting out demons is, is what God commanded us to do as well. When I pray for somebody that might be heavy on drugs or on the street homeless, and you can tell they just got years and years of abuse, of drug abuse, alcoholism, whatever it is, I pray and I cast out that in Jesus Christ's name. And I believe the person will be delivered and set free. And it happens and sometimes it doesn't. But I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I continue to listen to the word of God and continue to stay hungry. So I just bless you right now. I release peace and joy over you right now. I release peace and joy over you right now. I release peace and joy over you right now in Jesus' name. That you feel it. The presence of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now. There's not no gimmick. There's nothing fake about it. It's real. It's really real. Holy Spirit is touching you right now in Jesus' name. And anyone that's not saved, that you never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have to follow Jesus. By following Jesus, you have to repent of your old ways. Repent means you got to change your old ways and surrender to God as your Lord and Savior. So in the privacy of your heart, you can say it out loud as well. I admit that I'm a sinner. Say this, I'm a, I admit that I'm a sinner. I believe Jesus Christ died and resurrected on the third day for my sins, for my sickness, for my healings, for my deliverance. And I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. If you receive that prayer right now, you receive the Holy Ghost. You receive the Holy Spirit. It's the same thing, the Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit. You receive that. Now keep on walking towards God. Find a local church that you, somebody's probably been speaking to you about. Find that and get involved in the community, whatever church community, and make sure they have the biblical foundation and they're not leaving out the Holy Spirit. Jesus died for the Holy Spirit to come. So I just bless you right now in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. I love you.